Hey, it's Reese, and this is a giant mushroom that I grew in my bedroom, and my plan is to make a surfboard out of it. Basically, it's just wood chips and mushroom mycelium, which is like the, the roots of a mushroom that have all grown together and connected the wood chips together to make this surfboard blank, this mushroom surfboard blank. Making a surfboard the traditional way, using foam and fiberglass, it's really bad for you, it's really bad for the environment, and it makes a lot of waste. So my goal is to be able to peel the fiberglass off the board at the end of its life and be able to throw the board into your garden to decompose. This is just a first attempt, just to see. And if it works well, I'll keep pushing with the idea. If it doesn't, then we'll have to try something else. Making the mushroom blank was fairly straightforward. I got my hands on several bags of this grow-it-yourself mycelium-infused wood chips. The mycelium needed to be kick-started by mixing it with water and flour and letting it grow for several days. I made a mold out of plywood on my CNC machine in the rough shape of the board. And I was skeptical to line the mold with plastic, as this is supposed to be an eco-project. But since it's a first attempt, I decided to stick to the instructions on the bag. Unfortunately, the mycelium also came in a plastic bag, which sucks. I mixed more flour into the mycelium as growing fuel before packing it into the mold. The plastic is there just to hold moisture in the mold while the mycelium is growing. At this stage, I covered the mold with towels to block sunlight and slid it into a dark temperature controlled corner of my room to start growing. It took about five days for this to grow, and after a few days, it was a really cool texture. It was like spongy, weird white texture, and the water droplets were kind of on top of it. It looked really cool. After that, I had to dry out the blank to kill the mycelium, so I chucked it into my container with a dehumidifier. At this point, I should clarify that this will be a kite surfboard. Although surfboards and kite surfboards are traditionally built the same way with fiberglass and foam, kite surfboards are smaller, which saves me having to grow a longer shroom, and they have to withstand some serious beatings, which will allow me to see how the mushroom core really holds up. This is the shape I will be making. It's called the Creep. It's my go-to kite surfing shape and I'll be able to easily feel the performance differences between this mushroom core and a traditional foam core. I'm all mushroomy. Cutting this in half actually worked really well. I was expecting way more blowout because it's super crumbly on the inside here, but it cuts super nice. So I think we'll be able to put the stringer right in the middle. So my plan is to put some spackle on this section where we're gonna put the stringer in just to kind of fill the holes so that when we put glue in, it's not absorbing a bunch of glue. Spackle is actually um, just gypsum powder, I guess, mixed with water which is actually something that you put in your garden anyways.
Everything's ready to go, and it's time to start shaping this. I'm super excited to see how well it's going to cut. super happy with how that turned out. I wasn't expecting it to actually have some decent shape to it, but, but look at that, it worked. It's so crumbly that I think I'm gonna spackle the entire deck before I move on to shaping the bottom, just so that it, it keeps its form without big chunks of it falling out. This is pretty much going to be the same weight as what the finished blank will be at this point. I still have to shape the bottom, um, and that will take a little bit of weight off. So I'm going to do a little weight test right now. I'm going to scale down here. Now a normal kite board that I ride, this exact shape is between five and six pounds is what I like to ride. That's like performance. Anything over six pounds is way too heavy and anything under five pounds, I find is too light and flutters away. And this thing already weighs over eight pounds. Just for reference on the weight, this is a PU blank. It's actually a longboard blank, so it's about three times the volume of the mushroom board, and it weighs less. It's about six pounds. Instead of wasting more materials on this board and wasting fin boxes and fiberglass and resin on something that I know is not going to work, I know this board's not going to be good. It's too heavy. It was, it was a good attempt, but I'm going to quit while I'm ahead and I'm going to go check this thing in the forest somewhere and let it decompose. <laughs> 